hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn about an error related to browser which is fail to assume control of microsoft edge chrome firefox so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started so what is the objective objective is that this article provides a resolution for the error that may occur when you run a desktop flow that contains a launch browser action in microsoft power automate so what are the symptoms of this error? So when you run a desktop node that has a launch edge, launch chrome or launch firefox action Microsoft Power Automate, the execution fails with one of the following error message, which is fail to assume control of Microsoft Edge, internal error or communication failure, that is one error that you get. Another one is fail to assume control of chrome, internal or communication failure. And the third one is that fail to assume control of firefox, internal error or communication failure. So there can be multiple reasons of these errors. So first cause of this error is that web extension is not installed properly or enabled, right? Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome or Firefox web extension is not installed properly or enabled. You can verify for the cause one, which is execution of a desktop flow with one of the respective action fails with the error message. Web recorder initiation for the specific browser shows the below message, which is note that the web extension might seem to be installed and enabled in the extension repository of the specific browser but the execution to be unsuccessful as you can see here on the top that there is this a screenshot where you can use this get extension in that case it will install the extension of the power automate desktop in the browser so if you want to install the extension of the browser you can open the designer right and then you can go to tools and then you can go to browser extensions and from here you can choose the browser where you want to install the extension right so install the respective web extension from the power automate for desktop designer even if the extension seems installed and enabled you need to remove it and reinstall it restore the browser so just in case if your extension is already installed and still you are getting this kind of error in that case you can just remove that extension and then you can reinstall the extension and that will help you to get rid of that error so what is the second cause of this error which is a launch browser action takes longer than the default timeout. Launch of the browser takes longer than the default timeout, which is of 30 seconds. The automation tries to assume control of the browser before opening and as a result, the launch browser action fails. Verifying issue for cause 2. Execution of the desktop flow with one of the respective action fails with the error message. This behavior might not be consistent. Some execution could be successful as well. So when you are running the bot, sometime launch browser action fails and sometimes it is able to successfully launch the browser. So what is the resolution of it, of the second cause? In that case, you can insert a new launch of the browser action or maybe launch a new Edge, launch new Chrome or launch new Firefox or launch new Internet Explorer. You need to set up certain parameters in that action. So you have to set the launch mode as launch new instance, initial URL, a default URL, whatever you want to queue. Rest parameters can be set as desired. After that, you can click on on error property, select the on error option in the action window, select continue, flow run, go to next action in the drop down list and then select save. The fourth one is that insert new launch new browser action of the same browser as step one and set up the parameters of the action. Launch mode, attached to running instance, then attached to the browser by the URL, tab URL, the URL inserted into step one, variables produced, replace the new browser to variable to name of the variable produced by the step one right so which means first you have to use the launch browser where you will launch the new web browser with the url once it is launched in that case also you have to specify the on the on your property as go to next action so just in case if the launch browser action fails it will go to the another action which is attached to running instance parameter of the launch browser action and then you have to provide the same URL which you have provided earlier and the variables of the browser instance is going to be same as the previous one. In that case, first one will launch, either it fails or gets successful. In both cases, it will come to the second action and then it will attach to the same browser with the URL and the browser variable will have the browser instance stored. And the fifth step is that select the on your option and take the following step which is enable the retry action if an error occurs option and set the number of times to 20 by selecting the number of times set the interval in seconds to 5 by selecting the number of seconds and click on save right so it is in that case it will just try to 
launch the browser with the number of attempts specified in the on your property of the launch new chrome or edge action so this way you can handle this error and the sixth step is that insert a go to web page action and set up the parameters of the action web browser instance the variable produced by the launch new browser action so when you use the go to web page action in that case you can use the same web browser variable which was used to launch the first browser instance in the navigate property you can use do url and in the url text field you can specify the url where you want to navigate finally find some general checks that you may apply in case the above actions do not fix the issue make sure that the environmental variable com spec with value c windows system 32 cmd.exe exists on the machine if the previous solution does not work you can use this step to check whether com spec has this value right only for chrome check and set the exit underscore type parameter to normal at local app data google chrome user data default preferences and also you can try to clear the cache and cookies from the browser manually and restart the browser so these solutions can help you get rid of this error if you like this video please click on the like button please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day